Hi everyone and welcome back for a new episode on MongoDB queries. In part 6 I want to talk about deleting documents from a Mongo collection. As usual we'll use the customer database and just to refresh our memory let's display the available customers. So DB customers find. Okay we have four records. Now the most basic use case for the remove function is when we want to delete a single element by let's say an ID field. So it's a scenario that you'll come across quite often. And to do that, okay, we can say DB customers remove, this is the function that we want. And remove is very similar to find. So we only need to pass in the filtering function. And all the records that pass the filter will get deleted. So in my case, I want to delete by ID. And again, I need to copy the object ID because it's a complex field so copy i'll paste it in here i'll close my filter and now if i hit enter i get the right result so one element has been removed and we can verify that using find okay now we have three elements so i think you notice that the filter that we use is extremely important now, if you want to remove something and the filter that you use is too wide, then some records will be deleted by accident. So it's really important to double check the filter that you use uh, for removing objects. Now, a little technique that I use is before I actually remove some documents from my collection, I usually test that filter using uh, find. So let's say that I want to remove all the customers who are younger than um, 25 years old. So before I write the remove function, I want to write uh, my filter. And I can say DB customers find, and now I write the filter. So age, and let's say, um, let's use greater less than equal and let's say 28 for example okay so i hit enter and now i get three objects but it's not exactly what i want so i'll say 22 okay so i have all my customers um, who have an age that is less than or equal with 22 and i have two records now i'm sure that i want to delete these two records and I have confirmed that my filter will return only these two. So now because I've seen the output, I can copy this filter. Okay. And now I can actually remove these documents, being sure that I will not delete any object by accident. So I double checked my, my, my query. So I can say remove and now I can paste in the filter that I've just checked. Okay, I hit enter and now I can see I have removed two elements. Okay, and I can double check that, we can confirm. Find. Okay, so now I have only one object. So this is a little technique that I use and it's really important to double check. It doesn't take a lot of time and in this way you'll be sure that you will not delete um, something that you shouldn't have okay and one last variation of the remove function is of course remove with an empty filter and what it does is it removes all the documents from your collection so if you want to clear a collection of all the documents that are within it use the remove function with an empty filter okay you hit enter oops yeah of course because i forgot to add in the collection name okay and now there was a single document left in the collection and it has been removed. Okay, and if you say customers, find, count, okay, and we have zero elements in our collection. Okay, uh, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.